Is buying a $200 Mac desktop, a Mac mini, worth it? The Mac mini is known as the cheap Mac and today I have a 2011 basic model and I want to check it out that if it's any good eight years later in 2019. Now the Mac mini was first announced in 2005 and back then it came out with a G4 PowerPC processor. Remember at this point Intel and Apple hadn't even started the partnership. Apple's idea for the Mac mini is that you are given the experience of a Mac and if you had an old PC for example you could plug in your old monitor, keyboard and mouse that you already own and you were ready to go. Throughout the years the design has changed to the aluminium design that you see here in fact, Apple still uses this design today, but in a darker space grey aluminium colour that came out in 2018. The size of the Mac Mini has quite a small footprint, as you can see it's sitting here next to the 2012 Unibody MacBook Pro. The Mac Mini I have here cost me £155, what's about US$200, dollars, and it's in very good condition. The specs inside this mid-2011 Mac Mini are a 2.3 GHz dual core i5 shipped with 4 GB of RAM but I've done my 2019 reality check and it now has 8 gigs. Also inside is a 500 GB hard drive. I also brought a kit that allows you to add a second 2.5 hard drive inside that cost me £7, about 10 US dollars and I've put in a 120 GB SSD drive inside as well. So as crazy as it all sounds there are two hard drives inside this thing. So the specs are nothing too special and they literally tick the box of a cheap Mac and this is to be honest its purpose. Now completing a Geekbench benchmark 4 test we can see that it comes out at 4489 what is near to a score of 4448 from a Macbook in 2015. Now if you know your facts right about Macbooks of around pre-2015 then you'll know that the Macbook Air was more on the budget line Macbook compared to its Macbook Pro brother. The same here is with the Mac Mini, it is also a budget Mac to its bigger iMac brother with superior specs at the time. However I have been able to run the patch Mojave on this Mac Mini and everything seems to be working perfectly. The boost of more RAM and OS X and main apps running off the SSD that has been installed makes this Mac Mini work perfectly for everyday scenarios. A nice list of scenarios that I'm talking about here is things like web browsing, at the same time as well doing online shopping, checking out your social media, doing emails, streaming videos or movies on Netflix, watching YouTube videos even, doing a light bit of word processing on the Mac as well, at the same time as I may be doing a light bit of photo editing as well, nothing too heavy. At the end of the day, this Mac Mini is more than capable of doing these tasks and at the end of the day as well, probably around about 80% of people who own a Mac probably use it only for these kind of tasks only and don't really do any kind of the top professional tasks. So again, this Mac Mini is perfect for you. I've done some testing on the HD 3000 graphics and for example, Need for Speed Most Wanted is working perfectly well on this Mac. However, as I always say, Macs are not designed for gaming. Having a look at the back of this tiny Mac, you'll find a generous amount of ports for such a small device. You have an Ethernet port, Firewire 800 port, a HDMI port to plug in your monitor, a Thunderbolt 1 port, SD card slot, a mic in and headphone out, then there is 4 times USB ports. This was the last Mac Mini to have USB 2.0 because as from the 2012 models, they were all USB 3.0 ports instead. Underneath it, it's easy to complete RAM upgrades and if you have time, you can add a second hard drive like I have done to this Mac Mini here. However, we do have to admire the look and simplicity of this Mac Mini on a desk. These Macs can easily be hidden away like under your monitor. One other great purpose that users have been using these Mac Minis for is to use them as media stations or media servers. Many users use these as Plex servers because the Mac Mini uses so little electricity. Take this 2011 Mac Mini that I've got here. 
At the end of the day, it runs at 11 watts. That's if it's at the desktop, idle, or say streaming a movie. That is the same as an energy saving bulb that I have right here. That is not a lot of electricity. So the Mac Mini is a more than capable machine. And I would highly recommend getting one if you're thinking of replacing your desktop Mac or even your desktop PC. At the end of the day, like this 2011 machine here, it only costs around about $200 to buy. And all you need to do is just connect up your old monitor, your old keyboard and mouse to it, and off you go. And you can do all those standard daily tasks that we talked about earlier. It is a superb device to get. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, please do press the like button below and leave any comments. I will try my best to get back to you. Please also do subscribe to this channel if you can, because I love to talk about older Apple equipment and recommending them to you guys instead of you paying out an extortion amount of money on brand new equipment, because whereas quite a lot of old equipment is just as good to use in 2019. Well guys, until next video, I will see you soon. Bye.